Hello everyone and welcome back to Skilling Minds. I am Preeti. In case you are new to my channel, please subscribe with the bell notification so that you are the first one to get our new videos. In continuation to our Tableau overview and Tableau worksheets, today we have come up with another video of Tableau dashboards. In just a few minutes, we can combine data sources, add filters and drill down to specific information. Building dashboards with Tableau allows even non-technical users to build interactive and visualization content in minutes. So let's jump right away in the new session. Welcome to Skilling Minds, where we impart skill knowledge with easy to understand presentations and hands-on sessions. So whether you're a student or a corporate professional or a homemaker or an entrepreneur, adding skills helps you to increase productivity and attain proficiency. Most people delay adding new skills either due to lack of time or resources. But here at Skilling Minds, we will enable you to learn new skills at your own pace that can help you to stay ahead in today's competitive world. So let's jump straight away into today's topic and add a new skill to our portfolio with Skilling Minds. Welcome to the hands-on session on Tableau Dashboard. In today's session, we'll look at how we can create an effective dashboard by using the already created charts in our worksheets that we did in our previous sessions. So let's get started. To open up a new dashboard, you need to go to Dashboard, click on New, and here you will see a new dashboard is open for you. On the left hand side, you will see the already created sheets. All we need to do is we need to pull these sheets into our dashboard area and start to visualize different charts together. Now, we'll, let's take an approach here of uh, a four blocker. So let me, you know, just uh, pull at least four charts so that we can create an effective dashboard and look into it from the perspective of its data. So on the top left hand side corner, I'll, I'll put up the text table, which tells us about our cars data in the form of car types, car use, and the amounts that you see here are the insurance amount or the insurance claims uh, that have been put according to each and every car type and car use. Now let's uh, pull up something which is known as a bar chart. And as you can see, as I hover over the chart sheet, it gives me a visual display of already created charts. So, you know, it, it gives me an idea of, you know, what chart am I pulling here? So let's take this as a bar chart. And uh, this was a chart where we used, uh, you know, a different section, one for commodity and one for uh, uh, rather one for commercial and one for private uh, to, to look into different type of car types uh, with their insurance claim amount. Also, we can pull up something which is known as a stack bar. Again, you know, the each color represents a uh, different car type and uh, the size of each color or each block tells us, you know, the higher or the lower amount of claims made in that particular car type. Let's do one more chart. Let's pull up this uh, circle view also here. Uh, this also gives us a clear uh, kind of an, you know, circle or a ring view of letting us know different car types in their blocks of commercial and private. Let's ignore uh, these uh, uh, for the moment, the filters, because uh, we'll try to, you know, create our own filters. Uh, and the way we want to you know visualize it so let me make this a little bigger here and what we see in front of us is now the four blocker view where we have a text table we have a stack bar we have a bar chart and we also have circle views now just to look from a visual perspective you know what catches our eye immediately 
is this you know the biggest bar here which is the suv in the private section or this biggest green block here which is again the same data of you know suv in the private section or this topmost you know green bar uh, or green circle uh, here uh, which is the again you know the private suv so let's see you know why is it uh, you know appearing so big in all these so we can you know go to the text table and we can see if you look at suv at the private section it's of the highest value and that's the reason it has the biggest block it has the highest bar or it has the highest circle in in that order now after this what we can do is we can add filters to add filters we'll go to each and every graph uh, you see the, the option here which says more options you click here you will see it will ask you to add filters when it asks you to add filters let's see let's start with the car count first now as soon as we click it here we see a filter has been added it actually gives you a range that you can select for the car count and accordingly you change it to the view or the perspective you want to have you see the graphs are also changing in the purview so you know if i want to see i just claim cars that has uh, you know the lot of claims uh, definitely you know uh, it, it comes to the private suv section and you know i can just play it around and see you know which view i want to see for most you know number of car, car counts or you know let's take all different sections of car and i just have to drag it left or right and it will move uh, the other graphs accordingly for me another one which we can look in is uh, we could go to filters again we'll say why don't i click on car type and once i have it then i have a filter here which tells me about the different car types available now what if i don't want to see all the car types right now i just want to pick up let's say a sports car so it only represents the data pertaining to sports car in all the four blockers that i have for different graphs here now if i've selected sports car it tells me in the text table only about Uh, the commercial and the private sports car vis-a-vis -vis the claimed amount on the bar chart again it shows me only sports car in commercial and as well as in private in stack bar chart also it's only sports car and even in circle view it only shows me sports car what i want to combine sports car with let's say a minivan and have a view then you know it gives me only these two attributes in all the four charts that are available in the fourth blocker and you can you know play accordingly which we want to pull out so let's go back let's you know have all the charts together and that is how we click on all here and you know all the data is available to us i'm going i'm just going you know randomly to different charts to just show you you know from where you can pick up the filters now what other filters do we want do you want to look into the car use okay we can have a car use filter as well now in, in spite of looking into you know car view Uh, use from the perspective of all commercial and private what i only want to look at private sector so when i click here it will give you a, a private sector view now as i click here you see that the only one chart is moving and not the other is because of the linkage of this chart now to be able to fix this let's go to this filter click this downward arrow here for more options and check something which is known as apply to worksheet now if we see only this worksheet has been applied and that's the reason when we using this filter it only works on this particular worksheet or on this particular chart all you have to do is go here and uh, select all using related data sources once you select that and when you move all your worksheets or the charts will start moving accordingly so let's click on commercial uh, so you know only in text table data uh, table uh, commercial is shown even in bar chart now we can only have the commercial uh, view uh, pertaining to each and every car type in that section even in stack bar it's only showing commercial for different car types and their amount of uh, claims as per as uh, the circle views also you can see only commercial sector car types available now in this way 
we can see filters that can be used to look into different views on all the four charts that we have and when we select whatever we wish to look into it appears on all the four charts now that is good from a filter perspective what if i want to go to each and every chart and click open a particular area and uh, see its representation in the other corresponding charts now let's say if i want to see uh, a, a private uh, you know van uh, if i click on this data it only highlights the data in in this particular graph nothing happens to the other three graphs similarly if i go i click on the suv on the private here only it's highlighted here in this chart nothing happens on the other chart how do i make an interconnectivity in all the four charts well that's very easy if you go and you click on each and every chart you'll see a filter icon here it's a very small one so you have to really come close to look at it uh, it shows you in the shape of a filter just click on it once you do that now if you click on let's say private van see the other charts also change it only shows and reflects you the same data pertaining to private car type of van as in the stack bar as well in the circle view or in the bar chart as well okay all you have to do is you have to go back and click once uh, in the area of the graph and it restores to its original value but we have only made this option available in this chart so you know this chart is now connected to the other three but the other three are not connected to the first chart for example if i go here and still collect it only gives me value in this particular chart now if you have to make a total connectivity of each and every chart showing that data let's go to that uh, filter icon here and let's select that in each and every chart once we do that all the four charts are now connected to each other now we can click on any of this chart and the other remaining charts will move for example let's come to the stack bar let's come to car type suv car use private we see this is the biggest block once we click here it changes its view in the other three graphs as well as you can see the value uh, in the text table you can see the bar chart of the biggest uh, block here is of the private suv and in circle also you can see there's only one circle representing uh, the view that we have just clicked for we come back we click on on the area of the chart and it restores to its own value so in this way you will be able to link up all the charts together and we call this as interconnectivity between the charts uh, that can happen by using uh, the filter button here uh, we need, and remember we have to you know use this filter button all the charts that we want to connect uh, to each other uh, so that way you can see a uh, chart view from this perspective the other view i have already talked to you about was the filter view where you go and select uh, or dissect the data according to your need and you will be able to analyze in in that manner so with this i conclude today's tableau's hands on session on dashboard If you like this video then please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe Skilling Minds. Leave us a comment on which skill video would you like to watch next. Also press the bell notification button so that you are informed as soon as we upload a new skill video. Till then take care and bye.